All right, hello there. Uh, fat guy with old computer here, and I got myself a new one here. Um, in October, there was an auction or somebody in, I want to say Decatur, Illinois, some place in Illinois, um, had like a hundred max, or not a hundred, but 50 max, all these other stuff, and was trying to sell it all in one go. Uh, somebody over at the 68K FMLA, um, saw that, we basically had a laugh, you know, there's no way the guy was going to sell it for that price, long story short, uh, somebody nearby decided to go and pick it up, and we split it up, and I picked up an IBM EduQuest, pretty much sight unseen, um, I did pay less than probably what it's, well, we'll see what the condition is, I have not opened it, um, I paid a good, for a good price, Gentleman was good enough to ship it to everybody. Um, I am less than inspired on this box choice, to say the least. Uh, but all that matters is that the insides are okay. So we're going to find out together. And I pray to hell that there's nothing wrong. I guess pray to hell would be the wrong word to say, but it's, I'm already committed. And I'm not going back. Who knew? You can have my address. Anyway. Seat cushions. Oh shit, mouse. Yeah, these are new seat cushions. As if my ass needs more cushions. But I'm fine. Okay, mouse. You're okay. This is the. Well, the mouse didn't survive. Well, it's got a little crack in her. It's okay. I'm not. Overly worried about the mouse. I can get more mice anywhere. Uh, ah. Foam. Well, so far so good. I'm not seeing anything falling out. More seat cushions. Oh, these are used. Well, well, they're new. They're new. I got red and I got green, so Christmas themed. Uh, power cable. God damn it. Now I'll pick up the rest of the disc later. I got another copy of IBM DOS 5. Cushion. She looks intact.
Hooray for IBMs being fucking monoliths. Fucking heavy. It's a 55. I could not tell in the in the pictures. They were a little bit blurry. Uh, I could not tell if it was a 55 or a 35. I am happy to see that it's a 55. I think that's probably like the second to best, if not the best model. I think it was a 60. Uh, from what I read, it was a 60. Is that? Um, I think there was a 60. Uh, a little bit of tags from the whatever PV33 is. Now it looks like in the back we have uh, whatever card was there is gone, but I have the sound. That's the most important. I think right here was an upside down network card. I don't care about network cards. All I care about is the sound. So everything else is gravy. So, type 9615-001. So I'm going to, I'm going to assume it opens up just like a Model 25. Okay, that's as far as that will go. Monitor. So we got the sound card. Uh, let me see what I can do to disconnect. I can pull this board out. So, uh, looks like we got a standard floppy drive, uh, dust, standard dust, no cash, uh, we got a 486, six, uh, it's a DX266 with no heatsink, which is slightly concerning, only slightly, uh, no cash, it's kind of what expected. There is a height restriction on the Sims, but you can see all that right there. Let me take that SIM card out so you can see the rest of the motherboard. Uh, based on the video chip on, on board is a Source Logic 5434 right here, and I can upgrade the memory on that. I mean, it looks like a pretty neat little machine. I'm going to have so much fun with this. Got it. He said it booted up and had 15 megs of RAM, which doesn't sound right. So this is a let's have credit this on it. It appears to be proprietary. Hopefully they're the drivers for it, or they shouldn't be hard to get. Um, got two SIM slots, probably two eights. Really concerns me is there's no heat sink on that 486 chip. That thing probably got a little tested. Um, looks like there's room for two hard drives. So it looks like. Little, little door. Yep, there's a hard drive in there. So. That solves that mystery, and I can put a CD, IDE CD drive up here, which to hell with that noise, I'm going to drop SCSI in this. Uh, IDE is for chumps. I got a SCSI CD drive sitting over on a, an IBM SCSI CD drive I'll drop in this. Uh, I'll fill it up with L2 cache. I got a nice little plan to do with that, but let's put it back together enough. I want to see it turn on.
that. I guess that's padding. This looks like uh, accessories for because um, in the auction, or not the auction, but this guy that separated this, these pieces, he decided in order to save some people money, people who live near each other, uh, some of the accessories are going to be milled as one. Uh, so this is, I'm not even going to take it out of the bubble wrap, it's just the, uh, the uni disc for the Apple IIe. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Set this over here. Well, actually, here. Yeah. Because that's technically not right. Looks like we got another uni disc. So it's a pair of them. That's just fine. If he doesn't come to get them and doesn't care about them, that's fine too. Because I like uni discs. Let's see what else we got. Now there was uh, some IBM boxes that came that were in the listing as well, right next to this. This is one of them. I didn't know what it was. Let's see what we got here. It looks like it is a a Fiest slash two speech adapter. That's uh, a brand new card. That's still sealed. It's some kind of speech adapter. Obviously, I gotta say, it bit, so it probably goes to the uh, model 25 or the model 30. Or the Edge Quest. What else is in this other place? True IBM fashion. We have the unused. It's a little thing I want to get it out of here. Little speech adapter with a, what looks like a PS2 plug, but is not. That is a special plug. Hopefully that's focusing. That's neat, though. That is neat. Okay. What else we got here? Uh, what kind of book for Engineer Paperport VX for Windows? Okay. Peanuts, 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 fluffies. These are my fluffies and everybody's fluffies. Uh, we'll see shortly. MS DOS Sound Blaster Pro module. Text to speech. And these look like they are going to be IBM floppies because they are 1.4 megabyte disks. So I am going to assume these are mine. Ooh, got the label still inside the box. This little guy here is sealed. Looks like some kind of Microsoft. License agreement, blah, 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 blah. Windows slash 386. Okay. That's neat. Hey. Oh, shit. Flop, floppy everywhere. Oh. Uh, whatever this memory card is. Um, I thought this was like a memory card to this guy. I could be wrong now that I'm actually having it in my hands and looking at it. Some kind of bus extender. And some kind of
American memory card. Made in Taiwan and it's got 64, 128, 256, uh, 368 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. 368k of RAM on the water of this TMS 4500A chip. It's probably some kind of bus controller. You know, I thought this would be going to this. Uh, honestly not. It's practically new. I'll find her out where it goes. A2100-000. Whatever that is. And the pedestal is salt. Cells. Oh, Too many of my webs. I'm always scared to use mine because I don't want to wear it out. I have worn out one. Ah, uh, see, tent, gray label, Auburn, Washburn, whatever that is, Topeka, Kansas. Uh, looks like it's actual IBM, IBM, not a Lexmark. Will be turned on. Okay. Okay, looking good so far. One seven four error. Okay, I see what you did. Um, it's saying 15, 232, and 640K base. So it's really 16 base. I'm, yeah, it's... Mm. Oh, looks like it's asking to run setup. I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, let's just continue. saying there's not one installed. Tell it to boot from the fixed disks. bit out of alignment, but I can fuck with that later. Whatever. 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 Standard Windows crap. are completely effed. Uh, 
stuff. We have boots. Uh, looks like I got virtual basic or visual basic. Still thinking pretty hard. Oh, there the mouse start working. Okay. Basic 3.0. Looks like they are having some fun with it. What's in the recycle bin? Nothing. Mouse is trashed. So that's probably what the thing was complaining about at the start. All right, well, I'm just going to play with it a little bit, find the proper drivers, but it looks like it's working just fine, aside from the mouse. 16 laser of RAM, 30 out of But yeah, Windows 95, hooray. I actually like this blue. Um, but I wanted to say thank you for sticking around. Oh, there it goes. Um, I'll probably have more on this later. No, will definitely have more on this later. It's probably the first video I've had up in a while. Uh, at the very least, I got a nice working uh, IBM keyboard. So that technically, I could say, paid for the rest of it. So, I got this for free! <laughs> but yeah, I am definitely going to upgrade it. I'm definitely going to get a heatsink onto that processor. Um, I'm definitely going to put SCSI in this. No, I'm, it's just because that's me. Okay. I don't know why I bothered to do that, but I did. Um, definitely going to make sure I get all the correct drivers. I'm going to try to decide if I want to do uh, DOS or if I want to do um, or what I want to do now that I got one, the possibilities are endless. Um, let's see if the floppy works, put in the CD drive, and we'll just go from there. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more, hopefully a lot more.